here in Jacksonville. People living and working in parts of Springfield, downtown, and the east side are voicing frustration over repeated power outages. This is just like a, a, a reoccurring problem that they haven't told us why, they haven't figured it out. It's like the power comes on, it goes back off. So far, no word on what's causing the outages in these parts of town. They've been happening for the past two mornings while people were getting ready for work. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet joining us live after speaking with some of those people. Eric? Well, Joy, imagine a scenario where it's hard to get to work for two days in a row uh, because of random power outages that either prevent your alarm from going off or the gates in your apartment complex from opening. Or get this, imagine what it's like operating a business, whether it be a store or in this case, a restaurant in which uh, the, the electricity just seems to just cut itself off multiple times. Again, two days in a row. Well, the folks that we spoke with who are in the affected area don't have to imagine those scenarios because this is something they've been dealing with. From parts of downtown to the east side to parts of Springfield, Recently, repeated power outages have inconvenienced more than 2,000 JEA customers by leaving them in the dark. Your alarm doesn't go off, and then you, you're late for work, you're late for school. Yesterday and, and today, I have lost about three hours between calling to work, coordinating things. And while residential JEA customers are voicing their frustration, businesses have also felt the effects of the random outages. Here at Uptown Kitchen and Bar in the heart of Springfield, the manager says the outages have caused the business to lose thousands of dollars. We've had multiple days. We had a day last week, a day yesterday, and a day today where power had gone out uh, for hours. And every time that happens, not only do we have to stop accepting new guests, but you know the guests that we do have, it's such a havoc trying to figure out how we're going to cash them out. An employee of this gas station who didn't want to go on camera tells News for Jax that multiple power outages both today and yesterday have greatly impacted business. In fact, he says it has made it at times almost impossible for people to get gas. An employee at one of the shipping companies on the east side told News for Jax that Monday morning's power outage affected operations at her company. She said at one point, lines of semis could not get in because the loss of electricity kept the gates locked. The outages have not occurred during bad weather, and so far, there is no evidence to suggest the outages were caused by wildlife touching power lines. Still, I wanted to know what was causing the outages, so I spoke with a JEA spokesperson at JEA headquarters. What is causing these outages in parts of downtown, the east side, and Springfield? Well, Eric, we work every day at JEA to provide reliable services to our customers. So this is important to us. Uh, we are aware that there have been outages recently in Springfield, parts of downtown, and, and parts of the east side. So we're working to identify the root cause and address the issue. And because JEA is yet to discover what is at the cause, what is causing these repeated outages, the question now becomes, when will the next outage happen and for how long? Reporting live in Springfield, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Eric.